Hey guys, Brian Swenson here from Travel Fishing Adventures. We'd like to say thank you to our sponsors, our supporters, and our donors for help making our organization possible. We've been able to take out a lot of kids ice fishing this spring, so thank you very much. Uh, what we're going to do here is we went out and had a great trip on Devil's Lake with a great friend from Shields, Jaden Thomas. We got on some great pike, some great walleye, so we hope you enjoy the show. Ultralight pink rip and wrap from Rapala. It's probably an old 14, 15 inch walleye. They've been sporadic here. We've picked up quite a bit tonight. Uh, earlier today, it was really tough bite. Uh, Jaden was able to get a nice pike on the lake we were on earlier. We came over to the main lake here in Devil's Lake and, and it started off a little hot. We caught a nice walleye within five minutes of sitting down. Then it slowed down for about two hours and, and now it's picking up here. We just caught about Oh, five, six walleyes in the past half hour or so. Great fish, she's gonna add to the dinner table tonight. Things are starting to pick up tonight and it's been a real good uh, lift of morale. So anytime you catch walleyes, big lift of morale. We're gonna go ahead, get this guy off, put him in the pan and get back down there catching another one. Like the bite is finally picking up, so uh, you know it's a good eater. It's been a tough day today, so uh, it's really rewarding when finally our patience and our perseverance pays off. So it's just a lesson that sometimes that's what fishing's all about. So we're gonna get back down there. Hopefully, we we'll keep catching some more eaters and catch our limit within the next half hour here. So we're set up out here on the road bed. Good piece of fish structure, got a nice hard bottom. What you want to do is just pound that bot. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. There we go, got him. Come on, come on, girl. Oh, yeah. Nice little eater. Hammering my favorite old Northland spoon. That green UV tiger, it's a killer out here. She just smacked it. I think it's a big walleye. I think it's a big walleye. Oh, my God. I saw the head. No, oh, it's a gigantic pike. This is a big pike. Oh, that's what you come to Devil's Lake for right there, baby. Oh, that's a nice pike. That's gorgeous. You know, this might be why our walleyes moved out. Down a different spoon? Well, I'd been jigging with that slender spoon for a while and I just changed out to a smaller spoon. Something that doesn't even rattle, it's basically just a, it's a glorified version of a Northland forage minnow made by a different company. But uh, I dropped down, pounded it once and barely marked on the screen and just slammed. Probably eight, 10 pounds. She's just a nice fish, just solid built. You just look on the back on her. That's, that's a, a thick fish. Yeah, that's how all fish out here on Devil's Lake are. All they get to do is eat, 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 and move. So 
That's why we gotta follow them around everywhere. You think they lose weight with all them, how often these fish move, but that's just not the case. There's just right. so much food out here for them. And this is not an uncommon pike. This is, you catch these almost every day, like this. Yeah, not too many nice. places you can go where you can catch nice walleye, beautiful perch, and monster pike like this. This just will make this fishery special. Oh, we're just sitting in a bay area here. Uh, the walleye, you know, they were coming up and then they kind of just dissipated on us. So we we're contemplating moving. We still might. Uh, JT pulled up a really nice northern. I mean, it it was hard for him just to even hang on to. It's just a really strong species and uh, there's a lot of big northerns out here on Devil's Lake. So we're probably just gonna fish here for a little bit longer. If we still don't see any action, we're probably gonna head out and move to a different location. So stay tuned and Hopefully we have some big walleye coming on later. Well, we're out here on Devil's Lake, uh, kind of by a road ditch. Uh, we are using this HT ice rigger. Um, I really, really like this setup. Uh, we, you know, just pull it down through the line through the first eye, hook it up here, set the flag, and when, when it goes up, you just gotta reel up the line tight until you can see either it's angling off to the side. That's that's how I saw that there was a fish on. And you really just gotta set the hook, drive it in there, and. Uh, you now we're using the HT Big Eye. This is the medium medium rod. Uh, I use the medium light, but they are by far probably my favorite rod this, this season. I would definitely recommend this setup to anybody who wants to go out there and might not be really comfortable with tip-ups, but still wants the tip-up action as far as, you know, seeing the flag and coming up. But right here you can see he's got a few bite marks. So something tried to get oh, yeah. a hold of him. But we're going to get this set up again and we're going to get back down there because the sun is starting to set and we want more of these. And you know, this really is a great machine because I know a lot of guys, especially for the walleye market, they're uncomfortable with using tip-ups because they like the rod and reel, but this, you get the best of both worlds. That's right. just a great, great setup. Yeah, it is. Let's get them unhooked. Let's get them on the ice. All right. Let's get you back down there. I oh, had him a good pal. He wasn't going nowhere. Finally got the walleye that we're looking here. This is exactly what you come to Devil's Lake for. Just a nice 18, 19 inch walleye, but definitely chunky here. They've been feeding on quite a bit uh, of forage here in the area. And we're on this, we're on this sunken road here. And it's got two steep ledges on each side and it's just funneling these walleyes up here, especially as the day winds down. You know, it's gonna be a prime time hit area for all the forage that's in the area. And, and that is just a beautiful, beautiful walleye. Absolutely gorgeous gold, gorgeous gold all over. I mean, this is kind of similar to what you find. I mean, it kind of looks like a rainy lake walleye, but you know, this is exactly what we came here for. Yeah, they get that nice color just from the hard bottom. They're sitting on these old rock, rocky road, gravel roads. That's what gives it that to them. It's been two days out here, Jaden. I mean, we've, we've really worked hard for these fish. We've probably moved, I don't know, a couple dozen times. I mean, just to find these fish, we've went all over the main lake. I mean, kind of explain to us your process of elimination when you move. 
on uh, Devil's Lake. You know, Devil, it's been it's been a tougher two days. You know, the evening bites have really been the best times. Right at about 3, 30, 4 o'clock is when you're seeing these fish finally starting to commit. We've had no problem finding fish. We're finding fish most places we go. It's just a matter of finding the size, the quality, and once again, the aggressiveness. But typically when you come to Devil's Lake, start at your typical if it walleye structures. If it looks like it would hold walleye, it's probably gonna because there's a ton of fish in here. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of finding those spots at the right areas that hold the right kind of fish. Tip up just up. use spot. Oh, this one's screaming. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. Got him. Oh, this is a nice fish. This is a walleye. It's a good walleye. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Ooh. Like that. Well, this is the time. This is just prime time right now. Oh, I love that. We've got our spread set perfectly. We've got these tip ups on the sides of the road. We're jigging on top and on the sides of the road. It's just perfect right now. Oh, big pike, big pike. Big old gator. I got your line, yeah, perfect. This is, oh, oh, okay. oh, gorgeous pike. Gorgeous pike, gorgeous pike. Come here, oh! Just another beautiful gator. That's the oh second one of the day about that size. That's just a beautiful fish. You get it all when you come here to Devil's Lake. You get beautiful big pike like this, gorgeous walleye. We haven't even run into nearly this max size the walleyes are reaching. I mean, 30 inches are not uncommon here. 40 inch pike aren't uncommon. This is just another beautiful pike. And don't even get me started on the perch. We haven't had time to chase perch this weekend, but. Devil's Lake is just world class. You know, it's been really great having Jaden out here with us. He's, you know, we're not really familiar with Devil's Lake, and he's been fishing here since we were, what, about seven? About seven, eight years old, yep. Yeah, so he really knows this lake very well, and it's really encouraging to see young people like him out here that are so knowledgeable when it comes to Devil's Lake and walleye fishing and big pike. And as you can see, he handled that tip up like a pro. So I just want to thank you for bringing us to these awesome spots, man. Absolutely. Here, I'll give you a slime, a slime oh. shake. Another beautiful pike. Yeah, yeah. yeah! It is fitting I finally get a gator on Devil's Lake, you know. I do have a nickname of the Pike Whisperer back home. Usually I, I don't really get a whole lot of walleye, but you know, landing these, the fight you have, especially on tip up, you know, hand to hand combat with a gator like this, it's just exciting. Gets the heart pumping, the drilling going. Look at that. You can't beat that. So uh, this is probably going to be our last episode on the ice season this year. Um, but you know, as soon as open water is available, we're going to be out there. We're going to be bringing kids out. Uh, you know, we're going to be working with students at Circle of Life Academy in White Earth, Minnesota. And I can't say how honored I am to be able to be a part of TFA, a part of teaching these kids what fishing is all about and getting them back into the community. Uh, we really just empower the kids. And it's just an amazing thing to do. 
it's changed your life well I appreciate the opportunity guys and yeah tournament fishing is it's a, it's a great thing to get into young or small it's just it's good it's good for everybody it's 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 literally an experience I, I can't put into words right now especially when, when you win it's just such a great feeling but it's just a great way to enjoy the sport of fishing like we are today like yeah. I did this weekend exactly exactly all right guys well we're wrapping up the ice season here from 2015-2016 ice season. Uh, we're going to be kicking into the open water season as soon as it gets going here. And you know, we just thank you guys for listening. Thank you for your support, all of our sponsors, all of our fans, all the kids we took out fishing this year. Thank you so much for your support. And we really could not do this without you guys. We, we love you. We thank you for everything you've done. And stay fishing. Keep fishing because it's one of the best things and the most rewarding things that you can do in your life. So we'll catch you guys as soon as open water hits. You'll see us in the next episode of Tribal Fishing Adventures.